What's up guys, it's your boy Darshkin, and today I want to talk about farming the new artifact sets. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because, um, obviously the new set came out, or the new sets, has two of them. Um, one of them being really good for support Zhongli, and then one of them being, easily being, best in slot for Eula, and potentially best in slot for Razor. Um, could... Maybe be very good for Zheng Ling, physical damage Zheng Ling, among other physical damage units if you're going to be building them physical damage like Fischl. Uh, a lot of people are talking about her. A lot of people ran it with like physical Zhang Li and stuff like that. Now, uh, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, uh, farming this set was a mistake. And the reason why I say this is because I started out with uh 37 fragile resin right 37 fragile resin and i now have zero fragile resin so i'm gonna go through everything that i got from these sets that uh is good right and this is in 37 fragile resin so so basically for any player that's free to play this is what most of y'all probably gonna have so um, I have some pieces on Diona, which I'll be showing you guys, uh, tenacity, yep. So there's this piece right here, which, it was Elemental Mastery, Energy Recharge, HP, and then I just rolled it to see, uh, what it would get on the fourth piece, and I'm like, alright, hey, can we get some HP and Energy Recharge? We ended up getting, we rolled base attack four times, and then we rolled, like, Energy Recharge once. Unlucky. You look right here, this rolled 14% crit rate and attack percent. So this is really good piece, actually. Uh, you look at these two, I tried to roll these, they didn't really work out. Uh, I tried to roll this, it didn't really work out either. Right here, the only good p or decent piece I had is this, which is HP main stat with crit damage, uh, HP base attack percent, right? Not the end of the world, This is I, I, it's usable, but it has no crit rate on it. Don't have anything for this. And then this, um, I got a crit rate that rolled 25% attack, right? Which is nice, but I mean, I need crit damage. This is not good. This is, I'm just holding this on her because it's HP and it has some good subs. And then this one is very, it's not bad, but it's HP main stat again. So uh, for the tenacity set, I have basically nothing. So there's no way I can... You know, showcase this set because I don't have anything. It's funny because I don't even know if I'm summoning for Eula, right? But I already have Zhang Li built and everything. If you look right here um, at the Pale Flame set, look at this. It rolled HP one time and then it rolled all crit damage. You look at this set. Rolled crit damage, rolled crit rate, and then rolled attack percent twice. Very good. And I have this one as well. Crit damage, energy recharge, crit rate. It rolled crit damage like three times, rolled energy recharge like twice. And I still have this one that I can roll as well. If this rolls crit damage, it's perfect. You look right here, attack percent, rolled crit rate, crit damage. It rolled defense one time. And then it rolled crit damage and then uh, crit rate twice. So there you go. I don't have... Um, oh, I do have this one, which is... Um, it's not that good. It rolled energy recharge three times, base HP once, and then HP once. But it's a physical damage piece, and it's on the physical damage set. So that's why I'm running that. And then um, I don't have anything for the head pieces. I have it on Kaya right now. But yeah, so as you can see, I do have the four set on him. If you want to know what the stats look like, I gave my best helmet to him with a crit rate main stat and then the highest crit damage possible. And with that, I get 55 crit rate, 121 crit damage. I could sack my crit rate for crit damage because Eula is an ice unit, so I could potentially run like um, cryo resonance to get like extra crit rate or something, but I don't know. Anyway, uh... My point is, and this is what I this is why I said in my previous videos about the artifact sets, is farming new artifacts is just not as worth, right? Like imagine I try to switch my Albedo artifacts. Look at look at this twenty one percent crit damage crit rate, 
uh, crit damage or crit damage crit rate 21% defense energy recharge 18% defense crit damage energy recharge defense base defense main crit rate crit damage energy reach like his artifacts are perfect you look at Zhao Zhao's artifacts are perfect too you, you just look at his stats and you can tell right 62 166 Mahjong Lee I have him built um on an HP build so he's perfectly fine Venti same thing 69 um hundred percent you look at all these characters and they're already built and it's like going into a brand new domain is just, it's just not worth right and even looking at um the artifacts that I have right now like that are not even being used because I have a lot of artifacts not being used by people um I have so many sitting here waiting to get used that's already been farmed for like every single set right and this is for everything right you look at all of these pieces that are just locked and the reason why they're locked is because they're really good pieces I'm just not using them yet I was I was um I maxed the piece on Noel look at this this piece is perfect for her crit rate crit damage energy recharge defense like I'm telling y'all right now bro farming that new set was a mistake I wasted 37 fragile resin on top of daily resin because I've I haven't farmed anything else I've done nothing else but that so 37 fragile resin on top of um my daily resin since it's came out on top of um I think I did resin refresh I did like three or four resin refreshes with primo gems like just three or four and trust me when I tell you it was not worth it this is why I told people that they should not farm this new set. Um, simply because we don't have hard content where Zhongli needs it, number one. Number two, it is not worth the resin, right? Because this is the thing. Yeah, it's a good set for him, but is it that much better than what you're already running to warrant the resin cost? The answer is no. Um, I know a lot of you guys are already farming it and stuff, so it'd be like that. But as far as me, because right now my Zhongli is on... Two piece archaic Petra, two piece noble, and he doesn't have that much crit rate or crit damage. But I'm like I said, I'm building him mainly HP anyway. Crit rate, and if I wanted, I could give him like higher crit rate, crit damage if I wanted to. Like if you go look crit rate, right? This is the highest crit rate. But then if you go look at crit damage, I could easily give him this. I could give him this right here. So like if I actually wanted to build him damage with more crit rate, crit damage, trust me, I can. Not to mention, I'm literally using an attack percent weapon when I have Staff of Homa and I have Primordial Jade. So me building him on not that much crit rate, crit damage is a choice just because I'm uh, I'm running him on a 35,000 HP shield, you know, uh, with his weapon. But it was not worth it. It was not worth it. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section about that being said. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.